Tonight's health spotlight. It's a difficult conversation all parents must have with their children. Bush TV's medical reporter, Dr. Mary Gillis, joins us now with tips on how to talk to your kids about stranger danger. Okay, Phil and Alexis, an estimated 2,300 children in the U.S. go missing every day. Some are runaways, some go missing accidentally. Others are kidnapped. If you want to keep your kids safe, at some point you're going to have to warn them about strangers. I spoke with Vanessa Enos, licensed mental health counselor at Community Health, who tells me how you can introduce the topic to, to your children without scaring them. It's really complicated for parents to teach their kids about strangers because everyone a kid meets is a stranger. And so we need to make sure we're really clear about when we introduce the non-strangers to our kid, defining it, right? Like this is my friend, this is my coworker, this is your new teacher. And so that a kid knows who those safe people are. Enos also tells me it should be an ongoing conversation that can happen anywhere, whether you're grabbing a Sprite at McDonald's or sitting in your living room. She offers the following advice. Don't describe a person. Instead, talk about behaviors. For example, explain why an adult who they've never met doesn't need their help finding a lost dog. Tell them if they don't know someone, they don't have to talk to them. And if they ever are in a situation where they don't feel safe to find an adult. Research shows up to 71% of non-family abductions happen outdoors in the early morning or afternoon. Kids are most likely to be taken on their way to or from school in parks or in the streets. Reporting from the studio, I'm Wish TV's medical reporter, Dr. Mary Gillis.